Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another Fallout 76 camp tour. Today, we are going to visit one of my new camps on Xbox that I've taken to calling the Riverside Boathouse, as it is a boathouse and it is beside a river. So, uh, you know, kind of aptly named. I did forget to take an image of the map marker itself. So for anybody who's maybe looking for this spot, if you find Hillfolk hot dogs on the west side of the map and just sort of continue south along the riverbank, you'll eventually see this little dock and red boat. You can't miss it. So just keep your eyes out for it if you want to build for yourself. And we have a little bit of uh, shameless over-the-top self-promotion as people come in. We've uh, repurposed the Camp You Can Trust billboard and turned that around a little bit. Heading down towards the camp itself. I tried to go for a little bit of a rustic, kind of gritty look. That's what I always sort of do. I like how the uh, the hanging cage from the legendary run fits in here. And you'll notice too, the firefly lamp, if you're careful and you're a little bit patient, you can hang those from the branches of that tree. So that looks pretty cool. Down here, we have the new blood eagle uh, grotto kind of thing that uh, this little gazebo. It's all open air. There's no door on it. So, well, I guess you could put beds or furniture in it. I decided to just use it as my shop area. I think it looks pretty cool for that. Uh, the lights really stand out and draw attention to it. And it has a little panel right on the side for an open sign if you have the neon lights. My one little gripe with this area is there is a lot of terrain to get stuck on. So... I have tried to edit around some of that where I fall in the water and have to jump around so it doesn't make things too jarring to watch, but uh, there is a little bit of that. So there's plenty of room for water purifiers here. And then if we head out on the dock, you can see I put a couple of folding chairs here. The toolbox is actually there on its own. And then unfortunately we have to jump to the boat. There's no way to just build a walkway there. But this is an interesting spot because you can actually build on this boat. That table and chairs I built, uh, all the rad barrels I built, that's a reward from uh, Radiation Rumble. So I don't really use them all that often, but I think they look kind of cool. And then we've got the uh, minecart grill. I also like that. And all this clutter that's around here, if you want to build in this spot, you'll want to clear all that stuff off. Uh, use all those excess grenades for that. It makes it go away nicely. And then if you server hop, it'll all spawn back in. Sometimes there is a raider NPC who hangs out in there too, which is kind of nice. Gives you a little more activity going on in the camp. I do enjoy the Collectron voice lines. They're always really good. And then here's the boathouse itself. And instead of building separate areas for everything here, I went for kind of one building and we just have all our workbenches outside. It's very much a minimalist sort of camp. We open up and go in and, and this is my bedroom. You've got the beer stein display here and there will certainly be more steins to come, but You've got Fosnot, you've got Meat Week, you've got the Legendary Run on there already. I like just cluttering up tables with junk. And I do enjoy that uh, red stove too. That looks really cool and it goes flush with the ceiling there. And you'll see how I, how I kind of worked around that when we go to the upstairs. We've got our Legendary Run Sheep Squatch plushie and Planetarium Lamp. And this is kind of my style when I build these things. I, I like to include some of that sort of clean, cute, fun Fallout 76 stuff every now and again, but I don't want to go over the top with it. I want the building to look like someplace you might legitimately just find in the game. Something that sort of fits with the setting. And I really like this. The way the forest looks along the river is just gorgeous. 
And to have that big open air window there, I think looks really cool. I found myself just sort of hanging out in this camp and relaxing, talking to my friends and, and playing the game without really doing a whole lot. And then I built this as sort of a, almost like an apartment on top of the other one for my ally. And you'll see there on the ground level, just some clutter, some junk, the sort of thing you might see after we cleared out the boat. And that fire pit there, that trash can fire pit, that is conveniently placed right on top of where the smoke from the wood stove comes up. So it sort of masks that. I thought that tied together really well and made it look like it flowed. We've got the Raider Punk as our ally, built a little room for him, made use of the uh, communist safes that come with the communist bundle that just came out with the bunker. I do have a camp that I'm building with that. Um, kind of keeping my fingers crossed that they fix the floating floors on it before I finalize anything, but uh, actually did find something sort of cool to do with it, so might just show it anyway, we'll see. Uh, but yeah, this is pretty much it. We'll make our way back outside, take in the view and the sounds of the nighttime in the forest along the Ohio River. And again, we notice there's lots of, lots of little bits of terrain to get stuck on, which is kind of frustrating for a camp like this, but it's worth it in the end. I have seen some other people build here and uh, they did spend more time on the boat than I did. You can actually get pretty intricate with it if you get really comfortable with the rug glitches and things like that. I, to be brutally honest, I'm just not a patient enough individual to do that. So I lit it up a little bit. I put some clutter on it. I made it look lived in and, and that makes me happy and, and that's good enough for me. But that, ladies and gentlemen, really brings us to the end here. Uh, before we wrap up, I do just want to take a minute to give everybody a quick little update on the channel. Uh, we did just pass our 500 subscriber milestone, which is awesome. So if you are subscribed, I thank you for that. If you're not subscribed, I do hope you'll go ahead and subscribe so that you can see all the content we have coming. And in terms of future content, there's always a lot more to come. I will say that over the next few weeks, maybe a month or so, I've got a lot on my plate as far as my real world life goes. So I may not be able to upload quite as much content as I have been. I may have to put a couple of ongoing things on the back burner for a little bit, but you can still expect to see probably two or three videos a week from me. Um, I just like to give people a heads up there. So, so you know that it's not necessarily permanent, just, uh, real life sometimes gets in the way. With that, I do hope to see you next time. Until then, I'm Fisty McRib.